Hello, my friends. I'm going to be doing a cloud pour today, but before I get to that, if you haven't already heard, I would like to announce the winner of my channel prize for the Color Art Autumn event, Connie Gray. Congratulations, Connie, and thank you to all who uh, entered. If you'd like to see the full list of winners, go to the Color Art website, which I will link down below in the description box. And as always, you can save money on color art by using my coupon code, ChrisJessic1121. So, let me quickly show you the dried result of the last cloud pour I did. I'm not sure which way I like it best, but uh, anyway, here it is. It dried like silk. I'm really happy with the results. Uh, I have not yet varnished it, but it's going to be really pretty when it's varnished in those metallics show up in there, but I'm pretty pleased with that. I did feel like I poured off a lot of paint. I used too much, so I'm cutting back on the amount of paint I'm going to use on this, although this is a little bigger, 16 inch round, but we'll see if that works. I mixed up a big tub of um, cloud pour about a week ago and um, let it sit. So I think that is part of the secret of a successful cloud pour. Mix it up and, and let it sit for a few days, several days. It's been exactly a week that this mix has sat around. So I'm hoping that I'll get good results. Let's see, so I have my cloud mix. I've got some Yellow Deep Master's Touch, Old Gold Artist Loft, Yellow Deep and White, Yellow Deep and Vermilion, and believe it or not, Magenta, Light Magenta. I'm not a pink fan, but I wanted kind of a sunset looking colors, and so that's what I'm going for. And here we go. Let's start with the darkest, the orange. It's darker than I had hoped for, but, um, but that's okay. Magenta. I'm going to speed this up. Okay. Okay, and here we go. It's a lot of magenta. If you watch me for any length of time, you know that pink is not my favorite. But I don't mind it with, uh, actually, I kind of like it with this orange here and the warm, warm yellows. I hope my cloud mix is going to come through. Okay. All right, well, 
Um, I'm going to let that sit for a minute. I did that with the blue one and it seemed to be of value. So let me pause here for a moment and I shall return. Okay, it's been a good 10 minutes and I'm not sure it's developed as much as the blue one did at this stage, but uh, we'll tilt it out and see what happens. And I, I feel this is not enough paint, but like I said, I tilted off so much from the previous one that I thought next time I would try a lot less. And that's what I did. So I'm going to tilt out to close to all the edges. And then I'll worry about composition. And look at my magenta, just kind of disappeared. It's not um, so dominant like it was before. What is that color? It's uh, semi-transparent. I've said this before, but I've often found that paintings that I have stretched out to the extreme turn out to be some of my favorites. So we'll see, might work out in this case. very slowly when there's not a lot of paint on the surface. And it really distorts uh, what you do have going on, but you know, and still work. I love this orangey yellow over here. That's pretty. Just need to reach um, these edges and then we'll look at the composition. Find the weight of the paint. I'll fill in those gaps on the side of the canvas when it's dry. It's pretty, but I'm not loving it. <laughs> Uh, 
Okay. I don't hate it though. Okay, I'm gonna let it rest and um, we'll come back in about 15 minutes and take a look at it together. Let's see what it looks like. Okay, well it's been maybe 20 minutes, a good 20 minutes, and this is what we ended up with. I, I don't know how I feel about it. It's kind of pretty. I don't love it. I don't hate it. I'm wondering if I want to try, experiment with it, do something. I'm thinking of taking my hair dryer to it and maintain this and blow out the rest of it. What do you think? I'm going to try down here anyway and see what that looks like. If I like it, I'll keep going. So. I hope I have enough paint to move around because as you saw, I, I really had to stretch it. It's very thin, but here we go. these pointy ear looking things up here. Maybe I'll blow this part out. Pretty. This is kind of pretty. What does it look like when you blow out cloud mix? Kind of interesting. more interesting than it was. I I don't know. What do you think? I think it's worthwhile showing this to you. I think I didn't use enough paint this time. I had too much on the blue, although I'm very happy with the results, and I really went a little skimpy on this one, so it needs to be somewhere in the middle there. But, um, I think it's kind of pretty. I'll bring in to look a little closer. Colors are yummy. I really don't know how I feel about this, but I'll let it dry and um, take a look at it later. Thanks for watching, my friends. See you next time.